friends, I'm Wani, and welcome to Wani's house. Today, I'm participating in a collaboration. It's the Lantern Collaboration that's been hosted by our sister, Kenya of Kenya's Decor Corner. Kenya asked us to show how we decorate a lantern or show how we will use a lantern in our Christmas decoration for this year. So these are the two lanterns that I decided to use. You guys know I love these. They're from Kirkland's. I picked up these small bobble ornaments from the at-home store. They are $4.99 and it's beautiful wine color. I have our glue gun. We have these picks here that are all from the at-home store also. They were $1.99. And I have my lanterns that I already had. So what I really wanted to do, guys, was to show you how you can create a really nice, glamorous, festive um, arrangement and spend little money. So my bobbles here, I have my glue gun and the tips of the bobble, the part that you will hang the hooks off of, you're going to attach the first you're going to glue them together and so what I decided to do was to use a candle because usually the candles are a universal size that is going to be my template so that I can make sure that both of my arrangements are the same size so then I'm going to use the glue gun to attach end to end all the way around now parts of it you'll you'll see I'm going to take the the silver hoop off I'm gonna take that off and then so it will be like butt to butt all the way around until all of the um, bobbles are attached and they meet now um, this would look great in a variety of colors. Of course, you guys know that this wine color is the color that I am using um, this year. But if you wanted to use clear, that way it could, you can use it all year long. And the fact that these were $4.99 is a great value. So I've taken the silver part off of here. And so I've glued each end to, to, to the back of the other bobble and attach and then I let it dry. So now I'm going to take our pick here. Now like I said this was $1.99 and you guys know how I like to get the most bang from a buck. This was that literally. So I'm taking the leaves off of this glitter pick and I am going to glitter it down wherever I attach the bobbles to each other so that way you will not see it um, when you're out shopping try to um, get picks that have an abundance on there on each stem so that you can get the most bang for your buck um, like I said I, I cannot say enough about the at-home store because that is one place that I have found that you get a lot for your money and no you don't have a coupon but at this when you break it down you really don't need one now what i can tell you what i'm loving right now i'm loving how the gold and that beautiful wine looks together i think it looks so very regal now make sure you use something when you're attaching this so you won't burn your finger um you see i'm using the scissors here to make sure that the stem is in the middle of um where the the two bobbles attach and i must say even like this it looks so Pretty. It is so very pretty. It's so easy. And I can tell you that both of these ornaments that I am making literally took me about 15 minutes to make. So I'm showing you how it looks and you see it fits around our candle perfectly. So I have these other um, picks here. It's a lot on here. Also from the at home store. These were $2.99 and I'm taking the little beads off of those and I'm sticking them on top of the stamps so pretty very glamorous and it looks like we have spent a lot of money 
and we haven't. We have spent about what six dollars. This it what it looks like on my lanterns, guys. I love it. I love it. I mean, even sitting in these lanterns and the gold bottom and the background and the black, I think it looks very dramatic. And I'm going to give you some ideas on how I might decide to use them. I have not decided yet, but let me show you. So I decided how would this look at the bottom of my stairs as you begin to go upstairs. One of the, the lanterns, the lights isn't working, so please excuse that, but um, I'm going to fix it. But yes, if I have it like this, it would be really pretty. And then I thought, hmm, what about if you had them going up the stairs? Now, I think that is very, very dramatic, and it sets a very nice romantic tone, especially when the lights are off and you're going upstairs. It's sort of like a nightlight. And then I had more ideas, guys, because after I created this DIY, just the, the ideas just began to flow. So what if you don't have a lantern and you don't necessarily want to use this for that? Don't worry. Your girl has you. I got your back. This is another idea I had because this lantern is the perfect size to use with your bath and body work candles. Look at that. Your girl came through for you. Yes, she did. This candle here. It's a cranberry candle and it smells so good and it's the perfect color. It looks amazing on here. So I think your girl is going to make her another one. This will be great in your bathroom because that's what I'm thinking about for that. Or what about this one? I have another one for you because maybe that's not what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for something else to go maybe like on your dining room table. Take a um, uh, vase from the Dollar Tree, or you could even use one of those hurricane vases that could create a lantern. You can always find those in your thrift stores, or you can go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, use your coupon, please, and that would be perfect. Put a um, candle in the middle, and there you go. So guys, I want to thank my sister Kenya for hosting this awesome collaboration once again and right in time for the Christmas celebration and Christmas decorating. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Wani. I do DIYs. I do lifestyles. I do home decor and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. Also, guys, come on over. Check me out on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's House just like it is here. Hit that follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's House. All right, guys, I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can have a, <laughs> you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.